I'm gonna out your gender, Gord. Wow. Morbidly obese. Can't wait to eat them. Stop being so cringe. Oh, oh. We'll have pumpkins growing under this tree. Only two toes on this adorable baby boy. $19 Fortnite card. This guy's gonna be big enough to literally disembowel me. I'm sick and tired of taking care of you, cringe. Ah, uh ah, -uh, clappity blappity. And all you do is eat and poop and fart all over my things. And you know what, guys? I don't even think they're cute anymore. Matter of fact, they start to look more and more cringe every day. Especially you, Quandale. Especially you. Are you just gonna sit there and look at me without any expression on your face at all whatsoever? What about you, Gord? Are you just gonna stare at me? Are you just gonna keep giving me that side eye for forever? You know what? I said I wasn't gonna do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and out their genders. That's right. I'm gonna out your gender, Gord. These two are actually female. That's right. I got females because the males have a huge scent gland that smells nasty. You know what, guys? I used to care about your pronouns, but now I don't. Just kidding. Come here. Let me scratch. I'm kidding. I promise. Let me scratch. You. You're being cringe right now for the viewers. No, I'm fine. I wasn't kidding. Good evening, everybody. We're having an event here tonight. We are making fajitas. I have the Kimtons all locked up in here. They're all comfy. They got litter. My buddy Brandon brought his dog over for a play date. Look at these boys. This is the first time I've ever seen anyone that isn't me use this trampoline. It does my heart good to see Queen back at her rightful place on our farm. Also, Poggers and Queen love having a visitor because they get to play good more. Good morning, everybody. I finally moved the clappy blappies out here. Look at their poop. Their poops are healthy whenever they're a size of little round balls. Been having a lot of sausages lately. What kind of things important to know when you got these boys. I'm going to let them eat a lot of grass from now on because they need to get back to their normal diet. Diet. Okay, as you can see, this little man still has a bit of a curled toe here. Take a look at that. As you can see, the toe is still a little curled at the end, but it's not nearly as bad as some of the other ones I've seen. The only issue is that as it gets bigger, it might get a little bit more painful. But all these boys are thriving and growing very, very quickly. Look how big Homelander is. Look at this beautiful boy's legs. Look how strong these things are. And Soldier Boy's almost as big as Karen now. Look at these two. They spend so much time together. There is a small chance that Soldier Boy is also a female, but I would not I uh, no. actually haven't vent checked or sexed any of these guys because I just didn't care to. Also, when you do that, it stresses them out a little bit. You have to look in their hole. You gotta kind of dig in their cloaca, and I didn't want to do that because it stresses them out sometimes. But this is how big the chick is with respect to me. Uh, look at this beautiful feather here. Oh, he's so big now. I remember when this thing was just in the palm of my hand, and now look how big they're getting. I am a little bit concerned about how this one with the one curled toe is not growing as fast, but I think it's just because this is a female and this is a male. And I think you can also tell from the feathers and the coloration that's coming in. But we won't know for sure unless we vent sex them, which I'm not going to do. Oh my gosh, look at him. Oh, he's so, he's going to be a piece of work when he gets older. He is going to be a huge pain in the butt when he gets older. Oh my goodness. When he's about double this size, look, there's Kevin way back there just meandering around. Pretty soon this guy's going to be big enough to literally disembowel me. James Charles is starting to get these little blonde feathers in. That's pretty neat. All these guys are just growing up so fast. Look at this. And even these little tiny boys are getting to be a little bit more friendly. Oh, don't mind if I do. Look at these legs. Oh, sweet wampum. Look at this foot. Only two toes? Only two toes on this adorable baby boy? And three toes on this boy. Look at this foot. Wow. Oh, man. These are basically just dinosaurs, you guys. This is literally the foot of a raptor. Also, I like how they have this purple skin on the back of their head. Look at that blue skin there. This is the first time I've seen someone successfully raise all of the three rat tights together except for a cassowary and kiwis don't count because they're small and cringe look at his big old ear holes wow look at that foot good morning a bigger ten ounce or ten wow look at this morbidly obese man there is not a creature more perfect than this man here wow Look at this adorable baby boy. Okay, I'm gonna let him nibble on some grass for a second. Or maybe he's gonna run under the barn and be cringe. Oh, Big Ounce has no regard for cringe ah uh, ah uh, dogs. Good morning to Polk. Here is your friend who doesn't seem to care too much for you. All right, Mr. Ounce. Look at these cringe folds on Homelander's neck. Such a beautiful creature. There's just something about a baby ostrich that just makes me feel some kind of way. I really do love these creatures. I'm gonna start smashing these pumpkins here for these guys man doesn't know how to get in there look how precious these creatures are okay this is gonna be the first pumpkin that these guys have ever eaten <laughs> 
Hopefully they eat all these seeds and then poop them out around here. And then we'll have pumpkins growing under this tree. Just need these guys to poop all these seeds out. I also have these adorable little watermelons that are really, really old. And that's perfectly fine for them to eat. All right, today's the day. I'm going to be attempting to catch these adorable little pigs. I got my cowboy boots on, my Adam Sandler tank top that you guys sent me in the fan mail. Thank you so much. First things first, I'm going to throw some corn down for these boys. A little bit of candy corn for you guys. So the really hard thing is going to be catching them all at once. Okay, I got this big thing of corn here and this adorable little net. We're going to see if we can get all these baby pigs at once. The trick is going to be to get them into an area like that where they can't escape from the inside. Look at all the ducks coming over for food. It looks like they're letting me get real nice and close yeah. to them. Amiga children. Look at this man look how precious these creatures are okay so the goal is going to be to go ahead and move these guys over to that enclosure come on children that's all six of them right yes, uh-huh so this is going to be a little bit harder than i thought i'm gonna go ahead and just try and walk them this way put a big pile of corn right there i'm gonna just stay here until they get comfortable walking to the entrance okay this one's got it this little guy's being a good man man this is annoying look at this little creature i could just pick him up okay they're getting really comfortable with this net now so things are working Ain't nothing like watching these adorable baby pigs. <laughs> Can't wait to eat them. When they're this small, they taste the best. As you can see over here in the baby's enclosure, there's lots of fresh grass there because the sprinkler system. And the best thing about these trees is that they give us shade year round so that any of these animals can get a nice little shady spot. Oakley doakley, they're almost out. Pretty soon, once they get over that little pile, we're gonna push them in there and then trap them. And then they'll be fair game to eat. And legally, we can eat all of these animals tonight. Look at this little pog boy just watching them. Pog boy here was raised by a pig and a cat so he loves them and that's why he knows not to run after them or be cringe with them. This is his teeth. Look at these beautiful adorable little bait. Oh take a look at that. I think once the adults are in there the little guys are gonna follow them. Oh, it's only a matter of time now and a couple cringe stragglers over here. Okay so these are the little dingus stragglers. Ooh, he's smart. That's the smartest one for sure. Oh. Well five out of six ain't bad. I'm gonna go ahead and grab all these boys and then we'll get this last little straggler later. Now that we're in here I got all five of them. We do have one intelligent little straggler over here, and he's just gonna be our little wild pig for forever. These guys I'm gonna go ahead and catch, and then I'm gonna put them in separate kennels so we can train them and rehome them. Oh, stop being so cringe. Oh, oh. One. One. Let's go. One. Let's go. Okay, this is all five. Okay, we got all five of these adorable little pigarinos here. Uh, the sibling is over there. We're not gonna be able to catch him. He's just gonna be a wild hog on our property. Gonna back off, bro. Okay, now that we have them in here, they can go from kennel to kennel because there's little holes in between them, but they can't leave this whole area. All right, we did lose one, so now I have more incentive to go after the two that we lost. Now that we have these guys in here, though, I can spend a lot more time just sitting in here training them. Well, well, if it isn't Mr. DeBaby. As you can see, DeBaby is getting much bigger now. He likes to shake my hand. I've been giving DeBaby a lot of this kangaroo feed from Missouri. This is the best stuff for this little boy, and it's the best thing to get him nice and beefy before he fights Jake Paul. Also, look at how he's just got these two little toenails here. And five fingers, just like me. These creatures are really just little humans. Why Pogger's way out in that field? Take a look at this adorable baby boy. How's about you have another bite, Mr. DeBaby? Would you like another to bite, sir? Wow, I'm just enamored by how beautiful this man is. And look how strong his little tail is. So this is what his paw looks like, if you guys ever wondered. Look how precious that is. He's got these cringe, ah-ah, uh -uh, two little toes here, a little weird toe right here, and then a toe right here. But every day I give DeBaby a whole scoop of this stuff so he can get nice and strong. That's all in addition to all this grass that we get here that regularly grows back now because of our sprinkler system. I mentioned this briefly before but all of the trees have been destroyed by some random worm and it's just the hackberries for some reason just all of the hackberries on the property which is most of the trees got destroyed Please let me know in the comments you guys if this is dangerous for them if i need to do something about that i think it's a little too late either way thankfully our cedars and the live oaks and everything else are fine and see they made a little web around these leaves and then they ate them bit by bit and i think these little dots are their poo our bees are still thriving Pauber. look at this perfect creature okay the 
children clearly don't like this little hut here. I'm a persistent man. I'm a persistent man. That don't matter to me none if they don't want to go in there. There's just two of them after all. Do you kids really think that my grown 200 pound butt ain't gonna chase you down and absolutely annihilate you with this net? Okay, these last two stragglers are gonna be really hard to catch. Basically, they can run through any of this fencing and there's really no easy way for me to catch them without trapping them. We're just gonna go ahead and rehome the others and we're gonna let these two run around until they get comfortable with me again. Look at these adorable dogs in this perfect little family. Okay, well, we couldn't find the rest of these adorable little piglets. There's two of them over there in that tent, but there's no way I can catch them at this point. Four out of six is not bad. We'll be able to get the other ones later. Over the next week to two weeks, I'm gonna socialize them and then we're gonna get them to good pet homes so they can be backyard piggies or house piggies. All right, guys, that's it for now. This is, you guys wanted to see it. This is the sprinkler in action. It actually just turned on. I wasn't even planning to show you this but that's what the sprinklers look like and it's like that everywhere on the property these kimtons now live in my kitchen and we have two litter boxes that are hidden back here because their poops are stinky look at this cringe ah uh, cat good night tupac all right you two time to cuddle and go to bed that's it for now though guys i love you appreciate you oh i almost thanks so much for watching my videos don't forget to leave a little like and subscribe oh, almost forgot to tell you ah! the fog is coming for you jacob